Hi everyone, welcome back to Dentosan. Today's video is about a junction. Junction means a place where two things join. So this is a junction which is present between enamel which is the outermost layer of the tooth and dentine which is present below it. So this is known as dentino enamel junction. So this is junction present between dentine and enamel. So here we have drawn it as a straight line but actually it is not a straight line. So under the microscope it appears like this. So what is this appearance? There are curves. So there is a series of curves. So why dentino enamel junction has this appearance? How it forms and what term should be used for this appearance? So you will get to know all your answers in today's video. So before moving further quickly subscribe to Dentozen as we keep making such interesting videos for you. So dentino enamel junction can be part of your long question when you are asked about the structure of enamel in detail where you have to describe all these microscopic structures. We have already discussed them in the interesting videos. You can check them on our channel. So today's video we are going to discuss dentino enamel junction in detail. Now this can also come as a short note for you or it can also be part of your long question when you are asked about the hypocalcified structures of enamel. So you can include dentino enamel junction there because it is a hypocalcified structure. Now let's see how to write for your exam. First introduction, as the name says, it is a junction. So it is junction present between enamel and dentine. Now let's see how these enamel and dentine appear at this junction. First, let's have a look at dentine. Dentine has pitted appearance. That means it has pits. So these pits or shallow depressions, shallow means not very deep, shallow depressions are there on the surface of dentine. Now if we look at enamel, enamel on the other hand has projections that means something is coming out. So enamel has rounded projections as we are drawing here. So what will happen here? into the these shallow depressions of dentine that is into these spaces of dentine will fit the rounded projections of enamel like this so because of which this appearance will come and what term should be used for this appearance that is very important by our question so this appearance is called scalloped so dentino enamel junction is scalloped now why it has scalloped appearance now this enamel is the place where a lot of masticatory stresses are there. So to bear those masticatory stresses, enamel should have a strong connection with dentine. So to make that connection strong so that enamel has a good attachment with dentine, this junction is like this curve. So this relationship assures that enamel has a firm hold, firm grip over the underlying dentine so that it remains as a strong junction. Now let's see what is the shape. You already know when you are asked about the shape of this junction you have to mention it as scalloped appearance which is also seen in microscope in the cross section of the tooth. So how do we draw it? We have to draw it like this. So when we draw the diagram first we have to draw this junction as curved appearance like this. Below we'll draw dentinal tubules and on the top we'll draw enamel rods. Now we'll do the labeling. So below we have dentine, on the top we have enamel and in between two we have junction. So that is how you'll draw the diagram. Now there are two things, two surfaces of this junction that you need to know. So one is this surface. So on this surface, this junction has convexities like this. So something which is protruding. So these are the convexities. Now if we look at the other surface, that is opposite surface, on this surface, this junction has concavities. That means something which is depressed in which there can be some space. So we can say that the convexities of this junction are towards dentine and concavities. Where are they facing? Concavities of this junction are facing towards enamel. So again, this can be your viva question. So next, we have to talk about that where this junction is most pronounced, where this junction is very prominent, where these curves are very, very prominent. So, very prominent. so scalloping of the dentino enamel junction will be most pronounced in the places where there are a lot of masticatory stresses. So where these masticatory stresses are greater in the occlusal areas of the tooth. So we can also draw the diagram where we are showing the cuspal region like this. So there these 
curves will be very very pronounced like this so you can draw this pronounced dentino enamel junction as this diagram so you can draw either of these diagrams you can show dentino enamel junction in any of these diagrams <laughs> so now let's see the formation of this junction now this junction is between dentine and enamel so when these dentine and enamel are forming so this junction gets established so when the heart tissues form this junction gets established heart tissues are dentine and enamel but 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 it has been seen that this junction is preformed pre means before so it gets formed even before the development of heart tissues even before the enamel and dentine have formed this junction gets formed how it has been seen that before heart tissues there is an arrangement of the cells that is the cells ameloblast cells on the top and below we have odontoblast cells from dental papilla and in between these two types of cells we have a membrane as we can see here which is curved so this is known as basement membrane so the arrangement of these ameloblast cells with this basement membrane of dental papilla gives an evidence that the appearance this appearance of this junction is preformed even before the enamel and dentine or heart tissues have formed so what will happen when dentine and enamel will form so ameloblast will form enamel and odontoblast will form dentine so the crystals of dentine will also come into this junction like this this black crystal mm -hmm. and the crystals of enamel that is blue crystals will also come into this junction so what is happening crystals of dentine and enamel get mixed with each other at this junction and if we talk about the mineral content of this junction it is less as compared to enamel and dentine so we can say that it is hypomineralized structure so now let's have a quick summary of dentino enamel junction junction present between enamel and dentine and its appearance or shape is scalloped so you have to draw the scallopings in your diagram and the convexities are towards dentine and concavities are towards enamel and why this is so why this junction is scalloped so that enamel can have firm hold over dentine and where is the this junction most pronounced in the occlusal areas of the tooth and why why so because here the masticatory stresses are high then how this junction is formed it is pre-formed before the heart tissues are formed that is heart tissues are enamel and dentine so at this junction dentine and enamel crystals get mixed and this is a hypo mineralized structure less mineralized so now let's check what have you learned about this junction first important question what is the shape of dentino enamel junction that term has to be there second question the adjunction is performed before what tissues and most pronounced in which areas of the tooth and crystals of enamel and dentine get dash at junction what happens to the crystal at this junction so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button and also share video with your friends keep watching keep learning and keep smiling good luck for your exams see you in the next video soon till then take care bye bye